It's DJ Scream, of course, you know what it is, Hood Rich Radio. We have a special guest today, digitally. She's been physically to see us before, but we're socially distancing to keep everything 100. Big shout yeah. out to Amara La Negra. What's up, Amara? Yo, let me show you. I'm going to show you literally because we are in that type of vibe and I can be completely open and honest with you. Yes. We are literally in my backyard. Wow. And I was like, you know what? I want to say something different because usually I'm inside the house. I've been doing a lot of these um, social distancing interviews. But yeah. I just wanted to sit out here and actually enjoy the sun, the breeze, nature. Yeah. So I'm somewhat enjoying this time. I'm a little jealous. It's a little harder to do that in Atlanta. I mean, I'm in my basement. I got my house, but I don't have the wonderful palm trees in my backyard like you. Okay. Lit. But you know what? It wasn't till it wasn't till quarantining and, and just being locked up in the house that really has made me appreciate all the things that I have. Because sometimes we are blessed. Um, even having this backyard that I never come out here at all. Because mm. I'm always traveling. I'm always busy. It's like, yeah, cut the yard, whatever. I pay you, do it, it's done. But yeah. I never actually bothered to come outside and enjoy it. So I'm grateful for this time. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. What do, what do you, because you've been doing some really cool stuff during this whole quarantine, but what do you consider like some quarantine essentials? Quarantine essentials? Like how? What's an essential to you? Like, these days? Oh, I got to have uh, this type of food in the house at all times. Oh, or no, I gotta no. have this object. I'm not, I'm not picky or bougie like that at all. I think as I'm trying to work on my bougie side, like I have to have this, I have to, I'm super humble. Whatever is available, I'm grateful to eat, whatever it is. I'm just, I'm just glad to be home. And if there were to be any essential, most definitely has to be the internet. Mm. As long as I have the internet, you know, um, and, I, and I'm able to have access to other people, I'm able to communicate, I'm able to check out my social media platforms, able to watch Netflix and stuff like that. I think that that most definitely has been one. Everybody has been going crazy buying toilet paper. I stacked up on water. Okay. Lots of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then now, oh my God, can I show you something really cool? This is going to be the first time I do this. You ready? Please. Come on, this is gonna be a different type of interview. I'm so sick of yes, just- Yes, no, we're going, we're getting, we're getting a tour of Amara's humble abode. <laughs> yes, look, I'm so excited about this. So part of, uh, let me see, how can I put this, okay. Part of the things that I've been doing is my mom and I went to, um, there's this place called the Redlands here and we mm -hmm. bought a whole bunch of trees. So this is like an orange tree. Um, I forgot what this is, but here we have some lemons. Mm -hmm. My mom already put the limes already in. We got a little bit of peppers. Mm -hmm. that they're, they're tiny, but they're growing. We have an avocado tree. Wow. They're little, but they're growing. Um, back here, we also have some, some platanos, some plantains. Oh, so your, 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 your supermarket in your backyard. We got some papaya, if you're into papaya. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love fresh papaya. You see what I'm saying? So it wasn't till quarantine that yeah. I realized, damn, you have all this yard. This is the best time to actually take care of your household, do something that's um, beneficial for you, for your home, for your family, mm -hmm. like fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just being able to be out here and do family activities like this has been amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been really cool. That's motivating. Now, definitely quarantine is giving some time to sit down to think and to, and, to, and to get back to the basics, which is important. You know what I'm saying? Back to the basic basics. Like, literally grow your own shit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, learn how to live um, on your own by yourself without having to be around other people. Learning how to entertain yourself. Mm -hmm. um, learning how to love all of you. You gotta love so yourself. Yeah. 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 So it's been good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's some what's some what's some quarantine movies that that you've been checking out? Well, funny enough, um, I'm not super, super big into movies, mm. but I'm really big into documentaries. Yeah. I have made it my duty to go to Netflix and watch as many documentaries as possible. Mm -hmm. I feel that this is a great time. And besides now, I mean, I personally love to study. I love to learn things. Because whenever there's a conversation, I always want to be the one that I may know a little bit, 
I may not know everything, but I know enough about something. So um, I've been watching a lot of documentaries, um, which have been great about politics, about lifestyles, about history, a little bit about everything. So that has been great. Um, I've done that. How about yourself? Have you been watching movies? I've watched so much stuff on Netflix. I mean, I watch Ozark in like uh, a day, which wasn't healthy, but uh, <laughs> you know, what else can you do in the house? Um, right. Ozark, of course, is dope. Uh, I watched the coronavirus uh, 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 documentary on Netflix uh, last night. It's only like 30 minutes because, you know, the story's still growing. You know what I mean? Right, right. And, uh, of course, I'm, I'm a big Michael Jordan fan, so I've been watching the, the, the Last Dance joint with Michael Jordan. Yeah. You know? I saw a little bit of it. I saw a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, most definitely, if anything, I would say, well, now that you've watched all the movies, mm -hmm. go into documentaries and just start watching a little bit of all that stuff because – it's always good to, you know, expand your brain and learn something. Mm -hmm. So that's always good. What, what workouts do you suggest? I've been doing what I call prison workouts, just push-ups, sit-ups, just the basics. Well, what other workouts would you suggest for people to stay fit? Well, let me tell you something. I ain't the most fit person. <laughs> <laughs> We see you've been, leading, you, you've been leading like somewhat, what, what is it, an exercise class though, right? Yeah. Okay. So no, starting, starting the month of May, okay. I'm going to start doing what it is called Stay Fit. I'm going to have a whole bunch of um, therapists, in, instructors, mm -hmm. um, counselors, a little bit of everything, nutritionists, a little bit of everything to help us get fit during this quarantine time and summer's right around the corner. So mm -hmm. it's going to be every Saturday. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be giving you all the info so you can post for me for those that may be interested. And also on my page, Stay Fit, I'm promoting it now. I wanted to do something different because I feel like everybody's into working out. But just because you're working out doesn't mean that you're doing it right. Right. You know, um, you could do a thousand push-ups, but if your form is not proper, then mm -hmm. it don't mean nothing. So that's one. Two, I think the fact that we are stuck home gives us a lot of anxiety. Yeah. And you're constantly going into the refrigerator or eating a snack because you're bored. Mm. Trust me, I'm guilty of it as well. Hugging, so it's the, pillow, like, hugging the pillow a little, a little longer. <laughs> yes. So it's like being able to get back into that space where you're telling yourself, okay, no matter what, just because you're home doesn't mean that you have to act like you're home. Still wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, give yourself a schedule, shower, brush your teeth. Because a lot of people feel like just because you're home all day, yes. nobody can smell you. Look, I can smell you all the way through the screen if you don't take care of yourself. I'm not talking about you, but I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 I get it. No, the funny thing is I tell people, like, you can't be washing your hands all day and don't brush your teeth. That's stupid. Or wash your ass. Yeah. I mean, get Please. to it. So Please. I'm like... <laughs> So I'm like, you know, I want to do something for my followers, but we also can talk about, you know, our health from the inside out. Um, vaginal steaming. We're going to do vaginal steaming, too, for the ladies. Wow. We're going to talk about it. So that's going to be that. And then on Wednesdays, on Wednesdays, I'm going to start doing lives now on um, the month of May for Mother's Day. It's going to be Mother's Day in May. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows that I love my mom. So um, I want to be able to also chat with mothers and daughters about their experiences, their relationship. Um, we're also going to be talking with my mom. And I also partnered up with Grind Pretty. So now I'm going to be selling through Grind Pretty these amazing boxes of a whole bunch of cool products, lipstick, lashes, lotions, hair products, everything you can imagine. If you don't know what to give your mom for Mother's Day, you can give her an Amada box through Grand Pretty. See, one thing, one thing, one thing I know about you, and I'm a hustler myself, but I was like, I know so for some people, it's not even an option for this to slow down. None of the income, they gonna keep going. If if for some people, they make it more. Yeah, <laughs> you know some people saying? are making more. I'm most definitely not making more right now because right, right. obviously, as the, as an artist, you know, there's no concerts, no performances, no hostings. I was actually supposed to move to LA. For like three months or so for a new tv show i was gonna start working on and that got postponed so obviously my money has slowed down in those aspects but i have had to come up with other innovative and creative ways to maintain active so you know and also this is this has been a good moment for a lot of celebrities a lot of artists a lot of influencers that just spend their money like it's water if you didn't save up your ass is going that. through it We've been talking about that. Like, you know, the regular person lives check to check a lot of regular people, but a lot of entertainers and, and, and even athletes in them, they live, like, show to show or season to season. So you got to put something aside. 
Yeah, for sure. I know a lot of people right now that are going through it. I myself, I'm not going to say that I'm not going through it, but I was wise enough to, you know, be very selective with my financial choices. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay. You know, I'm okay for, 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 you know, for a little bit, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm okay for a little bit, but regardless, I'm a workaholic. I like to stay busy. I like to work. I like to know that my days are productive, that I'm not just letting days pass by and be useless in my life. So I figure out ways. I'm constantly figuring out ways to maintain myself active in these moments. So how does it make you feel when, you know, even in Florida, in certain parts of Florida, you see people kind of, um, they're already back at beaches. They're already back to it. Like, Hey, right. We're back at it. Back outside. I think think that we have to be realistic, right? Mm -hmm. We have to be realistic in the aspect of, at some point, we're going to have to go back to our regular life. That's right. just that's just what it is. There's right. only so much that as a society, um, there's only so much as a society that we'll, we'll be able to handle just sitting down and staying home. I know that our lives is the most important thing. And I know that there's a lot of people that are being extremely irresponsible by right. just going outside and going to house parties, right. house basement parties, and just wilding out. I understand how it can be frustrating to be stuck home, but social distancing most definitely is important. I, like I said, I know that we're going to have to adapt at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I do think that they're old like they're doing too much by going outside the way that they are. Like there's not even the social distancing in the beach. Like everybody's stuck together. Yeah. How, so, how, yeah. how, how, how much of it do you think is, um, I mean, our governor is not the, my favorite person, right? But I think that the Florida governor kind of shares that as well, where he, he the whole time has been saying, he even said he was considering opening schools back up, which is ridiculous. No, the, well, you know, I don't think is is that ridiculous. What I think is ridiculous are the parents that gonna let their kids go to the school. Right, right. I you know, it. you can open it if you want to. Go ahead, open it. I, if I had a kid, I ain't letting my kid go, mm. you know? Um, at the same time, like I said, I know that there's going to come a point where we're going to have to figure out a way to, you know, go back into society. We're all going to be scared. For example, people in the entertainment industry, I don't know who, but who the hell wants to go to a club right now or a festival? You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I won't be in no club. <laughs> yeah, I definitely won't be in no so club. So it's, it's going to be hard. We're going to have to figure out ways to, to, you know, get back into a regular life. I so somewhat heard that we won't be able to have any festivals or concerts till fall of 2021. Yep. Um, so as far as opening schools and opening stuff like that, essentials, yes. Um, I can understand how some people are ready to go to the barber shop, ready to go to the nail salon, ready to go to the salon, ready to go to all those places. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to make it. I mean, let me ask you a question. I mean, what, and I've been asking this to people, like, what if this is the new norm, meaning minimal outside, more inside with your family? Um, I don't I don't foresee people without masks just being out and about freely. I think masks are gonna be, become a part of fashion. They already have, right? What if yeah. this is somewhat of the new norm? And what if you have to switch your concerts from live physical venue concerts to concerts from your home? What if this well, is- Well, kind of, you know, this is crazy. Oh my God, let me tell you something. I was just talking about this yesterday because I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, I see, and, and I get it because we, we all have done it, but it's like, I see so many artists performing for free now on social media. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, okay, so where is the value of the artist now? So now your performances are for free. Um, every influencer now has become a rapper, uh, mm-hmm. a dancer. Everybody's a dancer now, thanks to TikTok. Yeah. Um, it's like, even the people that I would have never expected, certain influences and stuff, now everybody's into OnlyFans, whatever.com. What the hell is happening? Well, well, well this, this is what you call a revolution. I was a big part of a revolution, a musical revolution with mixtapes, right? So everybody was like, whoa, hold on. Everybody gives their music away from free. And I'm like, look, you can't fight the people and what they want. Another thing we got to realize, me and you might be in a different economic space but i don't think everybody's priority is going to be buying show tickets and stuff like that right now like they priority got to be if the government don't continue to let them skip on mortgages and paying their bills and feeding their family so i think that 
part of our uh, job as entertainers if we're in an economic space. And people have to realize we have bills too, so we need to make money too. But part of it, like the versus situation, the battles, right? I think it's just dope. It help people get their mind off of being in the house, just in the house. I think I think those are great ideas. I think that that's super dope. But at the same time, when it comes to that that comment, I would say, yeah, people may not be concerned about paying for no tickets to see performances, but there's people out here making a hundred thousand dollars through OnlyFans, and people yeah. are paying. Yeah. And not only that, but a lot of businesses online have continued to prosper and yeah. are financially better than before. Yeah. So that means that the money is out there. The money is there. It's just how you choose to spend it. Um, and, and at the same time, like I say, I only find it a little bit funny right now because those that have worked hard to be artists, that have worked for that title, mm. are now all put in the same pot with people that are just famous through social media that can, you know, sing one or two songs. It's like, where is those that went to school, that prepared themselves, that this, that, that it's like... It's the it's the revolution. I'm a DJ, right? I show you. I have turn turntables and records and all this other stuff, right? It's DJs going and doing it off their phone. That ain't never DJ. And I and at first it's kind of like, oh, I spent all this time becoming a dope DJ and doing all right. this. But the thing is, technology in the world moves so fast. And this is what I've been preaching since day one of quarantine. Hey, everybody, we're gonna go into adjust mode. Like I'm not yeah, the first person zooming. But I was definitely one of the first. I'm not stopping my interviews. I'm not. How can we keep it going? You see what right. I'm saying? So I, I think adjusting and adapting to what's I, happening is going to be our to, only way to survive. You have to look at look at look at what the big corporations, the Facebooks, and everybody they just adjust and don't lose a step. Okay, I mean, yeah, but happen. they they have always lit. First of all, people like them they've already been 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 knowing what's going to go down and what's going to happen. Not to mention the fact that they have been preparing themselves for this virtual you know internet society so that we, we so were we tripping because we weren't like we watch movies right we've seen yeah. this story in movies a million times the movies always come true right so oh my God, for real. Thinking, like as soon as i saw that first movie about a pandemic or epidemic or whatever i should have just been buying masks and hazmat suits or something i don't know but you have to adjust. This might be the new normal. I'm not saying we won't all be back outside in three to six months, but with them saying there's no vaccine, close. There's no cure, close. Then it's almost like going outside is rolling the dice. We know people who are young and healthy, get it, a couple sniffles, keep it moving. We know people that are young and healthy in their 20s pass away in five days. Yeah. That's not really a risk I'm willing to take, me personally. Yeah. No, no, no. I agree a thousand percent. Um. It's, it's definitely going to be, I don't know if this is going to be a new norm. I know that a lot of people are going to choose to want to stay home, work from home. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of businesses are going to shut down because of this, because they have realized we make the same amount of money having them work from home than having to pay for a building like this, that, that. Um, we are able to make as much money, even if we eliminate half of the staff, like they already have. Mm. Um, I think that a lot of things are going to be modified into this, uh, you know, technology world. Um, it's going to be great for a lot of us. It's going to be bad for most people. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely something to adapt to. And I also think that this time will give a lot of people the opportunity to, one, stick to their families, which a lot of people never even had the opportunity of doing because you get so caught up with business, with life, with bills, with work with everything that you forget to appreciate your family, your loved ones. So that's one. Two, this has definitely, at least for me, been a moment for me to eliminate a lot of people out of my life. Mm. All those yeah. people that considered themselves my friends, mm -hmm. all those that said, oh my God, I love you so much. Whenever you need me, I'm here, call me, this and that, baloney. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people, I read some messages talking about, oh, people like myself that think this way, are people that are thinking with their ego. And I don't think that this is thinking with your ego personally. I just feel that you haven't had one week or two. You've had over a month for most of us mm -hmm. that have been in quarantine to take out two or three minutes of your day to reach out to someone that you supposedly care for mm -hmm. or have in mind or consider part of your circle to at least give a call. And sometimes it's not even about, it's not even about financially giving anything. It's just about the moral support. 
Mm. Yo, listen, I'm going through it. I'm here, but if you need me, I got you. How you doing? How's your family? You good? Because whenever things are bad, that's when we want everybody to come support us. But what about these moments? Moments like these that you know that you're here today and you don't know when you're going to die is the perfect opportunity for you to just reach out to someone and be like, yo, I just want you to know that I had you in mind. You know what I'm saying? You good? Mm -hmm. It's the smallest things that matter that we have to pay attention to now. That is a lot. You're right. That matters a lot right now. I mean, obviously in my phone, there's whew, thousands of people. And I try to check on a couple people each day. You okay? Your family okay? Is everything good? Just make sure everybody. You can make you can make it into like your daily routine. Even if you reach out to five people a day, mm. five people a day, they, even a text message, a copy paste, copy paste. Mm. But even the fact of the intention, I think, is a very meaningful thing right now. And once this is over, you'll have an opportunity to open your eyes and be like, well, you know what? When shit was bad, blah de blah, they made sure to check up on me to make sure that I was good, or vice versa. You too do the same for somebody else. So that's something to also, you know, be mindful about in moments like this. No doubt, no doubt. Tomorrow, before we wrap, on delay, you got a new year. Yes! You know, you're going to put out the vibes. That don't stop either. You're going to put out the vibes. Tell us a little bit about this record. So Andale is a song um, that's completely different from anything I've ever done before. Um, I've always done the fusion, the Caribbean music, all that type of stuff. But in this occasion, I wanted to do something that was more hip hop. Um, I wanted to rap, and it was my first time, and it actually turned out to be pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Shout outs to uh, Gadeva and um, Kale, which is the producer of the song. Mm -hmm. um, my amazing team for making this happen. Unfortunately, the music video had to be postponed, mm -hmm. obviously, because it was be happening. A cartoon or something. But but I'm thinking that's right. Of coming up with another way of making it happen. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I definitely want to encourage all my fans and followers to take this time to enjoy music. Not only my music, but enjoy the music of all my colleagues, of everybody out there putting out good music. Download, stream my new single, Andale. And um, hopefully in this time, I'll be able to go back into the studio and put out more music. My final question. Uh, like I said, everybody's been watching the hit battles, right? Who do you think, uh, like, Jennifer Lopez or... Mariah Carey could battle in a hit battle. Who is ah! Oh my yeah. God, Jennifer Lopez! I have no idea because mm. I don't really know who else is is in like you know in that lane musically. Yeah. Mariah Carey. I mean, it's Mariah Carey. It's like saying Michael Jackson and who, or think, Mariah think, Carey I and think, who? I think Mariah, Janet. Mariah and Janet. Mariah Janet. We're talking about hits. Well, hits, hits. We're talking about hits. Hit. Oh my God, I would definitely love to see a Janet. Oh my God, I live for Janet. She's, I mean, Mariah's bomb, but yeah. I live for Janet for sure. Yeah. That definitely. would be fire. That would be fire. Wait, okay. If they had to do a Beyonce one, Beyonce, we're who? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> she could okay, Jay Z, Jay Z, we're who? It's not fair either. I think everybody's looking forward. They're saying that it's, it was supposed to be getting the Diddy Dr. Dre. That's the word. Obviously. Yeah. So that makes sense. But it's like, Jay-Z who? Who? I don't know. That one's kind of tough. That one's kind of tough. Jay -Z, but I definitely, yeah, big brother, little brother. I've been enjoying, though. I've been enjoying seeing the battles. And something else that I want to talk about this, um, I, I saw Swiss talking about this is, this is a celebration. Yes. It's not a competition. Because mm. a lot of times I see people hating on the, on the opposite artists or talking shit. And I really think that it's so, it's so unfair. Because um, people are using these moments to share the music, to, you know, help you um, take your mind off the fact that we're in quarantine and everything else. It should be a positive vibe mm. when it comes to these and not, uh, with, when it comes to these battles and not such a competitive I agree on a negative that, side that definitely what it was for Teddy and Babyface for me is like I don't I don't care about who went. like we have Teddy Riley and Babyface amongst us playing us their music and giving us game that's practice. yeah you can't yeah for sure on that. you know what I'm saying for sure for sure absolutely yeah. Amara, we appreciate you always supporting Hood Rich Radio. You know, we support you. Give everybody them social yes. medias and talk a little bit about Undelay one more time before we ride out. Guys, you already know it's your girl, Amara Negra. Go download, go stream my new single, Andale, available now on every single platform.
platform. Andale, andale, andale by Amara Negra. Go download it now. And you're more than welcome to follow me at all my social media platforms at Amara La Negra A L S. Amara La Negra, a book maybe coming? Are you working on a book? I already have a book. It's the second edition of Amarita's Way. Okay. I have the first one available on Amazon.com and Barnes and Nobles. Um, it's called Amarita's Way. It's my children's book. Edition one is out now in Spanish, English, and in French. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently working on the bullying edition, uh, which should come out in October for bullying month. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Salute to Amara La Negra. You know what it is. Hood Rich Radio with DJ Screen.